G'day everyone, welcome to X Resart. I'm Chrissy. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to the live stream. Um, just give me a moment, making sure that all is working. Uh, let me see, I'll just say hello to people that are here so far. Oh, g'day Gary, g'day mate, how you going? Wine in one hand, pastel in the other. You beauty. Uh, waiting for your live stream. Who said males can only do one thing at a time? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, g'day Anne. Hello, how are you going? Multitasking at its best. You beauty. Shandri, hello to you too. Ah, Christine. Amy, hello, hello. Lindy, g'day, g'day. All right, g'day Wendy. Hello, hello. Just wanted to say again, welcome to the live stream. Thank you for joining me. I have Wendy um, moderating. Um, she'll be um, uh, helping me, um, you know, for any links or anything like that. And um, just thought I'd mention that as well. So thank you, Wendy. Kathleen, hello. J Jacqueline, hello. How are you going? Um, uh, Kathleen, yes, yes, Jacqueline, hello. Um, okay, uh, Suktum, Andy, g'day mate, how you going? Welcome, welcome. Steve, hello Steve, hello, how you going? Nice to see you here. Um, okay, way to go, all right. Now, I know, look, I don't want to bore you guys too much. Oh, g'day Helen, hello, how you going? Uh, yeah, don't want to bore you guys too much. Um, I won't be doing this too much on Wednesdays, but I've got to get going with this. I've really got to start. I've got to get finishing. So I'm going to be um, s sorry. Um, I've got it for the people that are, who don't know what this is. Uh, this is um, part of my element collection deck. This is um, a, a very big painting, and I do this mainly on my working streams, which is on Sundays. But, you know, like I need to get things going and I've anticipated to spend X amount of hours, but I think I've done it all wrong. I've actually, I think I'm going to have to be spending a whole heap more. So I'm not going to bore you too much. So Wednesdays, this will probably be, I'm not going to be doing this on Wednesdays too much. I'll be doing other projects. So, but I wanted to do this just so, you know. Um, so I can just get push, you know, just push along with these. Oh, Lady Marigold, Heidi, hello, how you going? How you going? Nice to see you here. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to get with the program. Get right into it. Um, I, I need to, now. This is on the earth side, this area here. And I've got a photo, let me see. Up on the top, up on the top there, top left hand corner, just to give you an idea of the size of the painting and what portion I'm doing here. Um, I probably need to take um, a much, uh, like a photo where I've actually done more. But anyway, the, the whole point is, is just to show you the size. Uh, let me see. G'day Janice. Hello. How are you going? Uh, welcome. Welcome. Okay. Um, Christine says, oh my goodness. Good morning, everyone. Chrissy, how exciting. Everyone waiting for you. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's good. We're all together hanging out, aren't we? This is fantastic. All right. Get, get with it. Get with it. Get with it. Get with it. Uh, what I have around me is uh, pastels, pastel pencils, um, brushes, uh, soft tools, uh, pastel pencils, what else? Um, and this is all just base layers, okay? So this is nowhere near the detail where it should have. So I'll be um, just, I might actually go into this hooded character here and just build around here. Um, yeah, yeah. And I might even use, if, if, I doubt it, no, really, because that should be the last thing I do. I've got this, and I've been keeping, telling you people about this brush, which I've hacked a few streams ago, but it's a beauty. It, it really is a beauty. Um, it is, it, it really, um, uh, uh, George, hello. Thank you for your kindness and art for all. Um, Madeira, Portugal. Oh, hello. Very nice. Uh, Wicked. G'day, Wicked. How are you going? Um, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so there's this brush. Okay, this famous paw brush that um, I don't um, 
think much of as an oil painting brush but I definitely think a lot about it with my pastels doing all the textures so I'll just get with it um, I'm going to do this this sort of area here if I can and I came into my studio working a bit on this and I was working on this on my live stream on on Sunday the previous one and I don't think I've even made a dent in this so let's see what I can do um, all right um, uh, let me see it's sort of I'm going to I'm just looking at my reference so just let me um, zoom in on my reference and see if I can get this area right it's more on the bluish gray side actually so I'm actually going to get some some of my blue pans so I'll show you what I've got here and this is how I set my pans up you know probably other people set theirs out a little bit different I've got all my blues here so uh, phthalo blue I don't know I think I think Payne's grey is probably more the case more like a slate color isn't it yeah I think so so that's what I think I'll do and yeah bring in some silvers here we go yeah okay all right hope every I hope everyone's week has been uh, doing well um, let me see Wendy what's she saying he's a big man gonna take some time to get him done oh yeah he's okay please explain Bing <laughs> a big oh so maybe I should put my glasses on <laughs> oh, my... oh yeah big <laughs> oh seriously folks there's something wrong with me all right brushes I'm using brushes here so I'll just get with the program and just gently apply that's what I'm going to do Steve says Chrissy when are you and Wendy gonna do another drinking stream I think I have finally recovered from a lot you know what we were Wendy and I were only just talking about when we were going to do that and sooner rather than later so um wendy's waiting on me for time and i'm thinking well you know what it should be sooner we should do it like maybe towards the end of this month but i don't know i've got to see wendy's um schedule um oh my gosh Thursa! Thursa, hello how are you going everyone say hello to Thursa. it's one of my one of my lovely friends g'day Thursa, how are you going oh g'day Jelena how are you going nice to see you um hi all lunchtime for me okay Helen says there is some heavy rain up here so nice weather to do some art oh lovely lovely oh wow 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 oh wow nice to see you Thurs. hello how are you going um okay um all right okay um all right so uh i need to get into this area here and i'm using you know what this is a brush where again it's eco tools and i know people have bought a lot of these two together but this is an, a nice one. Oh, g'day, Will. How you going? Hello, hello. Hello, how you going? Yeah, so, um, oh, everyone, oh, probably, you probably all know because we're all connected to Will. Um, his course is out, so I just haven't had time to purchase that, so I'm actually going to buy that off you, um, Will. So for sure, everyone, go over and have a look at, um, uh, Will's got a, another course out, so go ahead and check that out. Um, uh, let me see I'm going to start my first pastel portrait today and tomorrow painting class again oh wow well good luck hope everything goes goes well for you Helen you know there are so many people here that can offer so much help here so absolutely yep new course super excited you beauty yeehaw okay um, 
All right. So, uh, thanks guys. Uh, Saturday with Chrissy a few times and had a few wines. Yes, yeah, see? It's one of my drinking partners, actually, I've got to say. <laughs> Thursa. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Wendy. That's fantastic for putting that in. Yep. Yep, so this is the link to, um, uh, Wendy just put in the link to Will's, um, uh, uh, Will's store, so go check out and um, check out that link. Um, can't wait to see your course, Will. Oh, yes, wonderful. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so um, just putting in my darks. This is a, an actual dark again. This is Payne's Grey Extra Dark. Um, so, um, and, um, Janice, uh, uh, Janice, uh, if you notice, because I've actually, um, um, I have responded to your email, but notice how, um, working with, with pastels, dark to light, like moving, that's what you would do. So this is light laser. I'm using pastel mat, so I'm this brush allows me to do some very light layers so that's what I'm doing now and it takes a while oh g'day sneaks how you going how you going nice to see you here nice to see you g'day Deb uh, your work is oh thanks Thurs um... okay All right, so, oh, sorry, maybe I should just do that so you can actually see what I'm going. But, um, yeah, so, um, yes, um, yeah, so, sorry, before I was just saying, I hope everyone's week is going okay so far. Um, mine is uh, busy, but I can't get, you know, I need to get to the weekend so I can do more art, I think. Well, of course, I do evenings as well. Um. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah, um, have that brush. Uh, uh, we'll uh, need lots of red shades. Oh, okay. Yes, you will. This is a beauty, actually. I don't know if you can find these ones. Like, I'm all I'm discovering all new ones, you know. But it's from the same brand. But I'm also discovering other ones as well. So. Um, but it's all about the texture in the bristles. Remember that. Um, it's all about the bristles. So, you know, soft and hard enough. Oh my God. I don't even know how else to say it. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do at the moment, see how this is blank here. So it's safe for me to put this glassine paper and I'll just put some pans just so you can see what I'm doing that's all okay so I need something a little bit darker here so I'm just gonna you know what this is this is really weird I don't know if you can see. I know I've used more of that, but this looks very similar. And you know what? This is Payne's Grey shade, and that one's extra dark. And that's only just a tinge. But I need something a little bit darker. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to mix black, and I'm going to mix it here. I just need you to see what I'm going to do. So. So this is the black pan. Right, and I'm going to grab some of this. Oh, and what I wanted to say also is that, you know, my internet's a bit shaky. So if you're having problems, it's not you, it's me. Um, it's not you, it's me. So I just want to make sure, did I say hello to everyone? Yes, I did. Um, I did, I did. Okay, as you can see, this method is powdery for the people that are coming in for the first time. Um, oh, 
Um, and in a little bit I'm going to talk about the group painting. Um, so I'll mention that in a little bit. Okay. Maybe I should... Okay, um, now I, I, on my last stream I mentioned that I was actually going to put it on Facebook. I didn't put it on Facebook because I thought to myself, well, I've got quite a few friends there and I'm going to end up having like hundreds of people, maybe, maybe, I'm, I'm maybe who knows, I don't know. But um, so I thought I would put the information in the, in, the, uh, in the description box below in this stream. So later on you can go have a look. And what I've done, oh, sorry, group painting. The group painting is, I better explain for those people just coming in. Uh, the group painting was, again, was suggested by one of our friends, Abigail. Um, and she said, wouldn't it be a good idea if we did um, a group painting together? And I thought, what a fabulous idea. So, um, so to, in a nutshell, what it is, uh, if you wanted to uh, be in that, um, what I'm going to do is, sorry, is I'm going to design or uh, pick a uh, painting that we can all do and divide that in little, you know, uh, divide that into the people that want to participate and I will um, issue you with a line drawing and the uh, and the uh, reference for that particular portion that will be allocated to you and I will either email it to you maybe Facebook message you Instagram whichever way you want to be notified and what I have is I have all the details of that in the um, description box below um, in this live stream right so and there is a cutoff date I've actually cut it off again by Friday the 5th um, so if I've got some names of the people that said that wanted to be in that so but if you don't want to be in that that's quite okay that's fine there have been a few people that have said okay well now I don't want to really want it that's fine uh, so what I've done is um, I've included all the names if you wanted to just go down and have a look at some point Make sure that if you want it, if you're in there, um, that's okay. And if you haven't, I mean, if you put your name down and I've missed you, I don't mean to do it on purpose. It, you know, it has been a month and I've made and I've written things down, but I just wanted to make sure that I haven't missed anyone. So it's not going to be on purpose in any way, shape, way, or form. So if you could all confirm and make sure that if you're on the list you don't have to say anything but if you don't want to be on the list let me know um, and you can actually let me know in the comment section below so and I've waffled on on and on yeah Okay. I'm just putting a bit of black here. I'm actually quite careful with the way I'm doing it because I'm actually mixing as well. I know black, black, black. This is this area here is very dark. There we go. Yeah, so it's going to be um, a surreal painting, by the way. <clears throat> I'm not going to give too much away. And what will happen is that um, you won't really know what the painting is going to be until the end. So you'll just have a little portion. Um, and it's just something fun to do. That's all, you know, if you... Um, and what it'll be is that you'll do your little bit 
and you just um, send it to me via you know digitally and um, um, what um, yeah digital digit digitally and then I'll just put it together like a jigsaw puzzle and I'm actually gonna make a real a video about it um, Heidi says what made you try brushes with pastels in the first place you know what Heidi you always ask me some very good very good questions and I love the questions that you ask okay <clears throat> when I was using these pastels um, the tools that were made available, I was, sorry, I'm just having a look at some of the soft tools that I've got here and I can't, you know, the, the soft tools that are provided by Pan Pastels, mind you that they've got some little ones too, oh, goodness me, they're not right next to me at the moment, but I know Pan Pastels have little applicators and they've got little, um, they look like little makeup, like eyeshadow applicators, but they've got little ones for details. But it just wasn't enough detail for me. And I thought to myself, for a long time I was, I was toying with the idea and I thought, oh, how can I do this? And to be honest, I stumbled on a, on a video where someone was using a brush, using pan pastels dry. But they weren't using makeup brushes they were using just a little brush and I thought oh this is this is a good idea right so I thought I'm gonna have a go at that and I thought and as soon as I started I was getting the finer details that I was looking for it was um, definitely I was using the painting techniques that I was so used to from painting with oils and I go yes I like this and then I started to play around with different brushes to see what things would suit and that's a that's how it all came to be I was um, just playing around and it's been about I don't know maybe about a year two years, I don't know 18 months something like that since I've been um, playing around with brushes and until I find the right one that I wanted so thank you for your question Heidi I really like that question I really like that question let me see if I missed it oh g'day Brenda hello how are you going hello how are you going um uh who did, who did, who's did I butchers what butcher name who oh did I Oh, I need to correct that. I'm so sorry, Anne. I need to. Uh, this is to, okay. I'm going to have to correct names. Sorry. I wonder if we can do that. Wendy, do you think you can correct it? No, you can't do that. No, no, no I can't do that. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to fix that, Anne. I'm so sorry. Seems to be. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Anne. I'm so sorry. Of all the people to get a name wrong. Shame. Shame on me. Now I'll change it. Before before I go to sleep tonight, I'm going to change it. Because that is not right. That is not right. And I was so careful. I was I was so careful. I was so careful. Obviously not careful enough. <laughs> okay, this area here. I just want to make sure that I don't. Oh, no, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this one.
Um, random pastel question. What is the best varnish for acrylics? Hmm. I'm not an acrylics person, but um, I'm actually almost too scared. I know Winsor Newton make a very good one. Um, Gamsel? Is it? No, no, no. So, sorry. No, no, no. Not that. Not that. G Gamva. Gamva. Yes. Make one. Um, but, I, yeah. But, yeah. I, I'm thinking, like, whatever you use for uh, for oils, you can use for acrylics. So, um Thanks, Anne, but you know. Um, and don't and don't make me say your surname. <laughs> Koivumaki? Koivumaki? Kuvumaki? Oh my god. Oh look, I'm just that's so... I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright. I'm just going to define this area here. At the moment with this, all I'm doing really with this is um, just outlining where things are meant to be. Um, there we go. Um, Thursa says, Chrissy, uh, do love the sun filter on the trees. Still on watercolors here. Oh, wonderful. Uh, you're still doing the watercolors. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. All right, so so we're getting the picture of what this fellow was looking like. Um, I'm just having a look at my I've got I've got references all over here, so. Janice says, uh, the Liquitex gloss and medium for acrylics is, oh, I missed that, is uh, permanent. What was that? Janice is permanent. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. You would expect um, Liquitex to be producing lots of medium. Oh, look, there, yeah. the list is endless, isn't it? There's golden. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got an idea of what this fellow sort of looks like. I'm going to see if I can get to his arm 
and I will be using let me see here put this away for a bit Oh, oh, g'day, Miguel. Hello. Okay, hey, everyone. Hey, Mom. Just wanted to check in for a bit. Hello, sweetie. How you going? Hope you're feeling well today. Hope you're feeling well. Oh, okay, Amy. Thank you so much for popping by and saying g'day. Um, Got to go, unfortunately. I'll catch you all later. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for popping by. Okay. Oh, G'day Kenny, hello mate, how you going? How you going? Welcome. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have a go at this. I don't even know if he's a monk or anything like that, but he's a hooded fellow. And I'm sure Kenny will tell me who this fellow is. Um, and I'm going to go very slow with this. And it, it all looks like a blob. I can tell you now it looks like a blob and it looked like a blob for a very long time. Hopefully it'll come good in the end. Um, take care, Chrissy. Oh, I see you awesome. Oh, you're going, Kenny. Okay. Um, as soon as I arrive, I am. Um, okay. All right, Kenny. Well, thank you so much for popping by just to say hello. Uh, nice to see you. Talk to you soon, I'm sure. There's this, oh, okay. there's this tree that's going to come over here so that's why there's a great big gap here and all of this is just bush and trees so I'm just going to uh, work on this area here before I go in there Maybe I should just, um, maybe I can just zoom in so you can see, actually so you can see how yucky it, it looks. Let me just go in. Whoop. There we go. So I'm not quite sure the, the quality of the video that you're getting, my internet is actually not good today. Well, it's not good most days, but <laughs> um, well, maybe that's too far. That's too far, isn't it? Uh, I, I thank you so, so thank you so much, Miguel, for for popping by. Hope oh oh my gosh, here we go. Um, uh, I'm going to get some sleep. Okay, sweetie. Uh, bye for now, honey. Bye for now. And right now, all I'm doing is just putting color where things are so I don't lose 
my place where things are and it looks really weird I would imagine this looks really weird from where you're looking but This one, extra dark. Um, and says, Chrissy, I must say, I love everything in this painting. I can't wait to see this finished. I can't wait to see it either. <laughs> I'm tormenting everybody with this one, I think. <laughs> But at least it gives you an idea as to how long it takes to, you know, when you're thinking of sizes and what project, what like when you're doing projects and, you know, what size should I do something, you know what I mean? It's always, it's interesting to consider the project that you have in mind when it comes to the size of the, you know, uh, the paper or the surface that you're going to use. So, okay, Janice, uh, Chrissy tried frisket on pastel mat for the first time last night. Okay, what 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 was difficult? Can you is it possible for you to say what was difficult about it? Um, uh, first of all, probably the question that I'll ask you is what frisket were you using which I don't think that that would make that much a difference but it might I don't know brands um, and your application how, how did you do it because some people have different ways of doing it uh, some people have oh okay oh Jelena um, oh I have to go now lunchtime over okay Jelena thank you so much for popping by um, appreciate your time um, yeah Janice so because some people or some artists they cut they trace out the area of where they want to put the um, masking film or the frisket um, some people like myself actually I haven't seen too many people do it the way I do it um, it is a bit scary I've got to say um, is to put the uh, masking film straight on the surface and just cut around it that's an option um, it works for me and I do it that way but I know that there's a lot of artists that don't do it that way um, they trace out the section and they cut it and then they peel it and then they apply it on the surface that's another option um, but what is it that you found difficult would be interesting to find out um, I uh, let me see Steve says um, okay um, uh, I did a uh, I did a pastel painting on canvas looks great but it it is terrible to apply the first couple of layers um, well this takes time well you've got to build um, and I was wondering I'm wondering Helen did you use pastel ground I'm thinking that you would have um, okay uh, Janice says, I tried it your way, ended up denting the paper. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you know what? Every artist, every artist works differently. That is for sure. So maybe you should work a way that suits you, perhaps. Um, um, maybe, in, well, maybe try cutting it first. Like, like if you've drawn your, um, your piece and maybe trace around it and then cut that and place it on there give that a go and see how you go that would be interesting uh, let me see I need a darker green mm -hmm. I need to mix a few greens here
Okay, so you're going to have another crack at it, Janice. Yes. Try it another way. That's it, you know. Uh, because I tell you what, once you work out a way how to do it, you'll go, yes, that's what you'll do. You will just love it. You'll go, why, you know, you'll, you'll figure it out for sure. Yes, uh, yes, you do need pastel ground uh, and you need fixative to seal it off at the end. Okay, so you need to keep in mind the colours will get a bit darker. Oh, that fixative. Oh, that fixative. Helen. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Uh, thanks so much for the tip. Okay, Janice. Uh, Thursday goes, hey. Uh, Thursday goes, hey Chrissy, time for bed here. Good night. Keep up the amazing work. Okay, Thursday, nice to see you here. Um, talk soon, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, Hello, Oksana. Hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Okay, this looks a bit, a bit how you're going. I know when you're looking at this, but believe you me, it, <laughs> fingers crossed, it's, um, it's going to come out all right. I've just got to take my time with it. Okay. All right. Dark here. I need dark. More dark spots. There's so many dark areas that I've actually got to cover here. I'm going to use black. I get scared when I use black, but anyway. you're looking at I just want to see what you're looking at okay uh, waking up um, waking up lovely thank you okay um, okay coffee cat hello hello welcome welcome hello how are you going all right I'm actually gonna start putting some dark bits here because I want to put some um, Uh, yes, Lindy, um, did I talk to the shop? I haven't been there since um, uh, since we talked, actually. Um, but yes, I will. Uh, what Lindy is uh, saying is um, what would be interesting is if I could... Um, uh, the Soft Pastels Australia, the store that I actually go and purchase uh, all my uh, pastel and a lot of my art supplies, is maybe I could just go have a look and uh, maybe do a blog on uh, the shop and uh, all of the items that they've got there. So I haven't had a chance to go. You wouldn't believe it. I've been so busy at work. Honestly, I'm struggling to get a lunch break um, to go out. And I really need to, <laughs> to go out and do that and ask them. Um, and I mean, I could ask them by phone, but I actually want to see them personally. So... Uh, 
I was worried I would miss the stream because I got home from work. Oh, no, 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 you're just in time, Coffee Cat. All is well. All is well. Thank you, Oksana. I'm just going to keep on layering this. This is so boring. I'm so sorry that this bit here is a bit boring. But um, these layers have got to... Um, and I want to do with the brush lightly. If I do with this, I'm going to put more on than what I really want. And I really need the control. And that's what these brushes are giving me. They're giving me control. Uh, Chrissy, uh, same. Haven't had a proper lunch break in months. There you go. <laughs> um... Oh, and for people just coming into the stream, I just wanted to uh, just remind um, uh, just a couple of things. Uh, one, uh, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you to Wendy for moderating. If um, I know that we all belong to the same family, but um, if you haven't subscribed to Wendy's channel, please go ahead and uh, subscribe. Uh, Wendy is mon is moderating, um, help moderate and help me sort out and put links in every time we talk about something so please go ahead and check out her channel and number two uh, Will of course has just um, just put out um, another course so please go ahead and um, if you're not um, if you're not on in the uh, family group Facebook page go ahead and you know um, go ahead and, and sign up make sure you read all the rules though there are rules um, and there's specific rules so you know it's a learning it's a learning Facebook page and yeah so uh, please go ahead and uh, go check all that out as well uh, I'm trying uh, Helen says I'm trying to download the course oh okay gosh Helen you beat me to it um, unmask uh, have you tried using of using oh no, I'm not. I don't know. Be interesting. New rules video two. Yes. Uh, I'm so annoyed that you cannot just click on someone's image and go on their channel. Yes, I know. You mean like their avatar, Coffee Cat? I reckon. Don't even. Let's see if I can put. Sorry, this is all building up very slowly. And I'm also going to use. Might just zoom out just a little. There we go. And this application that I'm doing is very, very light. It's just feather light. Okay, the colors that I'm using here is black and uh, black and raw umber extra dark, uh, which is a dark that I use a lot. And I've got to go dark because there's going to be trees. And see if it may, I might even be able to um, put some more trees in this area here. Or leaves. 
that look like there's a lot of trees going on. But I've got to make sure that this is all very, very dark-ish. So far I haven't used um, uh, uh, soft pastels as in pastel uh, pastel sticks, uh, soft pastels. I haven't used that but that's going to happen um, as I start to build layers. So, and I know I've mentioned it before but for people that are seeing this for the first time, this is all mainly with pan pastels so far and uh, pastel pencils. Um, but I will use soft pastels soon. I just, with the soft pastels, I think what would happen is that I would fill the tooth in very quickly. And I don't want to do that just yet. I just want to make sure that um, uh, I just wanted to make sure that I got some really good base layers uh, down. trees that are on this area here so I should go dark here as well oh doesn't this look so messy <laughs> it looks so messy Very blotchy. If you're doing, if you're using this technique, just wanted to mention. Um, Uh, Heidi, thank you. Uh, no, actually, it doesn't look as messy as you think. It's starting to take shape. Thank you so much. Uh, Barbara, hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Um, thank you. Oh, g'day Nanette. Hello, how are you going? How are you going? And this part here is like a, like a mountain side here with lots of green grass. Who knows? Well, there's, there'll be lots of bushes here, so.
I'm going to try not to be impatient. I'm, I'm desperate to put some trees just covering over this, but I can't really do that just yet. I know, take my time, take my time, take my time. <laughs> no rushing, no rushing. I, no, I don't want to redo this either, so... Well, I'm, Oksana says, well, I'm very dumb when it comes to video edit, oh, is it editing? I'm trying to learn from free tutorials using programs, but I still get, but I still don't get so out of my zone. Ah, hmm. video editing. That is a whole new ball game, that. That is just an art form in itself. Um, Yes. Uh, will there be a face on the statue? It will be a silhouette, Will. There will be a silhouette. You will only just see something. So, very much a hooded character. Um, Oksana, going back to your video editing. Um, well, I love video editing. Uh, I just enjoy it and I know that there's a few people here uh, for example Wendy and I know of course will and a few others uh, let me see who else um, there's also Anne if she's still in the chat um, you know video editing is uh, something which I love but you know it takes a bit of practice I think it's just for me video editing like for me when I'm going to do this it will take me just as long to do the video as it would the painting almost because there are angles and there are there's the sound you know if you wanted to put music to it if you wanted to talk what are you going to say all those sorts of things there's so much to think about more so when more than you think but then again it all depends on you know what sort of um, what sort of video you want to put out you may not want to put too much detail into it and that's fine um, but I find that um, there are times when I, I do I've got to say I put my hand up and I'm going oh geez I really couldn't bother doing this and I, I do try to skip um, and take shortcuts uh, because it is it is quite a challenging thing to video edit. Um, yeah, most definite. Um, and um, like even, oh, I know even Coffee Cat also has a video channel, um, as a YouTube channel as well. So there's quite a few people in here that, you know, do video editing who would probably have a lot to say about it. Um, yeah, definitely. But I think, Oksana, I think you should just go ahead and just do it you know what just go ahead and do it and you know what always practice makes perfect your first video is probably not going to unless you're into video editing and that is your thing you know um, that is your job but I think that you should just go ahead and start and you'll learn and you know what all you need really is your mobile phone your mobile phone and a lab mic um, which um, you can get some very good quality sound out of and um, just a basic software program and that's all you really need and just go for it in fact I think um, uh, th even if you don't have um, there's quite a few free uh, video editing software programs on a mobile phone if you ever decided that you wanted to go down that track there's so much Chrissy says Deb uh, the effort you and Will and others put into editing pays off production values count in drawing people into your channels when they watch the first time oh wow thank you so much Deb for that you know what I love video editing <laughs> I just love it um, but yes, I do agree. I think you, you know, you know, people are in, you know, it's like, yeah. Well, it all depends what kind of, um, um, well, it all depends 
you know how you want to present yourself doesn't it you know um, I think video quality is important um, like I'm always stressing about my internet because I want to make sure that everyone is getting uh, the best possible video exp or the viewing experience so um, gosh um, yes yeah, so I'm just getting pastel on my face that's all sorry <laughs> um, Um, hang on, who, who hang on. Oh, sorry, what was that? Sorry, I missed that. Sorry, I missed something. What was that? Oh, uh, yes, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, Helen says, uh, some say pastels are a fast medium, but yeah, when you use brushes, you need, yes. See, I'm, yes, uh, soft pastels are so quick sometimes you know what I mean but the way I'm doing this this is quite slow but I've decided that this is the technique that I want to use and I'm quite happy with that absolutely yes um, but it's a, yeah absolutely um, and then it says please tell me there isn't a clown under that hooded character no there is no clown in it okay there is no clown no no not a clown Trust you. <laughs> Trust you. Um, Will says, my workflow editing is a lot like painting. Yes, I do the broad uh, broad timeline edit uh, where I organize all the video and the length of the clips. Then I do transitions, color grade, vocal audio, then music. Yes, there's, there is a, and then once you get in the groove, you know, things flow, don't they? Yes, I agree. Only sometimes, yes. Okay. Um, there is definitely so much to learn. Um, you're all right, says Oksana. Yeah. Oh, look. Uh, definitely. You know, um, like here I've got... So when you're talking about cameras, like I've got a camera looking down on my work. I've got a camera which is right beside me. Video editing, you know. Um, and because I want quality, I don't want to use the, the video footage from... Uh, from my um, you know from my live stream I want um, a much you know a much crisper look and I think you know I'm getting that here provided that um, I do press record that's something I do press record uh, yeah um, and of course oh okay Helen says I love the slow progress of the brushes uh, you have more time to enjoy what you do well actually I do actually um, and I have control and that's the way I like to work so everyone's different of course um, Oksana says I really love your video uh, your video qualities unmask yeah will Wendy and Chrissy oh thank you so much that's very nice of you to say that very nice you know uh, Wendy says oh thanks so much yeah really appreciate that always trying to improve yes I mean all of us you know because there's sound and but remember like what I said all you need is a little lav mic honestly there um, it's one of those ones that you put it's like a lapel mic and you can attach it you know you're not going to believe this I would attach it um, if I'm doing videos I attached it to my mobile phone and I made um, if you want to go as basic as that and that's in the beginning um, I used my mobile phone there was an app that you can actually download and uh, you record your um, your voiceover and then you attach that file you upload it into your computer and you attach that to your video software you know you can do that um, it, it is a lot of work but you know if you if you're starting off something small and you want to see if that's the way you want to go and then you start to get really good at it and then you start to build uh, you know build your equipment um, as you go so uh, but that's how I started honestly I started with a mobile phone and I thought oh okay I need and then I got really you know I got pretty okay and I use every all the basic stuff if, if I told you what, I, what did I start off with I started off with Microsoft Microsoft Office at one point had a free video editing software many moons ago now you have to pay for it it is quite affordable but it's it is extremely basic and for people just getting in 
I definitely would recommend that so and then once you get good at it you just keep on building um, Helen says I hate the speed I hate the speed videos most artists place on YouTube I understand why but I do not enjoy watching them well there's a reason why there are speed um, the time lapses and I do understand why artists do that is because now would you really want me to like I would normally speed up this area I would show you probably how how it's done slowly and then give you a few um, a, a little while for you to see how the application works and then I would speed up that area and then I would get into it then when I um, get, get into a new area where I think that there might be some kind of detail going on um, then I would slow that down and I would make sure that you had a, a good idea as to how that stroke worked or how that application worked and then I would speed that up so you know or yeah um, but everyone has different ways in the way that they film and the way that they show things. Um, there you go, Coffee Cat says, I like tam time lapses with voiceover story time. Wow. See, everyone's got preferences, haven't they? Which is really good. I really like that. There's a place for everything, I think. Yes, there is definitely a place for everything. Um, and I think it all depends too on what you're showing. If it's a tutorial or if you're wanting to show someone a particular technique naturally you would have to slow this down surely um, um, yes yeah and then um, showing people the materials that you use um, give people a chance to have a look on screen what you're using you know people are interested some people not not all but I'll say artists sorry are interested in what colors you're using so it's good to show when you're video editing that you're showing the colors that you're using that's why I do this sort of thing I'm actually showing you what I'm using I'm describing what colors I'm using over and over again um, yeah um, I, uh, okay, uh, Coffee Cat says, I just make time lapses for my channel because it's done in like 10 minutes after a live stream and I like watching my own progress. Yeah, it's really good. It's fun to watch sometimes. It is, isn't it? Um, and Helen says, I understand, but there are a lot with some irritating music and no explaining at all uh, that all the ones that I hate. Oh my gosh, do I have irritating music? I hope not. Um, um, and says, um, I like watching those since I do learn from those and I don't usually have time to watch videos long time. Uh, these chatting streams are different since I don't need to watch all the time. Yeah, well, there you go. Um, uh, Chrissy, your music choice is superb. Ah, oh, thank you, Joanne. Thank you so much. Joanna sorry <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay let me see I'm trying to make this dark enough so I can I'm gonna start popping in some of this green in here I'm talking about the music that are making you restless I like the soft music you and will use oh okay all right wonderful well, I do try to select it or I try to select appropriate music for the um, what do you say for the you know uh, for the video or you know for what you do yeah for what's going on at, at the time um, okay let's have a look should I start putting in some grass I might start putting in some grass let me see not grass but I'm just having a look at my um, more dark bits here sorry folks there's more dark more dark here I can't uh, 
Uh, Anne says, oh, hello, um, okay, uh, Anne says, uh, Chrissy, most of the times I watch these at work and I have these playing in the background. Oh, wonderful. What, your boss doesn't say anything? <laughs> maybe your boss is not around, but this is pretty good. <laughs> well, maybe you've got your own office, which is even better. <laughs> um... Okay, but when I'm working on my own projects, I almost always listen to Adele or Callum Scott. Okay, I like Adele. Um, is Callum is Callum the one that? Oh, I think I know who Callum is, but I'm not quite sure. I don't want to say it unless I can get it wrong. Um, I select the music that matches my personality and demeanor. Um, it's a whole different stream if we listen. If we listen the music, I actually listen when I work. Ah, oh, yes, because you like some alternative music, don't you, Will? I know you're into alternative stuff. Um, Oksana says, I think it depends what you're in, uh, what what you're in a mood for when it comes to watching uh, preferences. Um, are you watching for passing time and enjoyment, or are you watching to learn and apply these skills? Yes. See, so sometimes you don't want dead silence too. I mean. Well, maybe you might, but um, I, I, but it's got to be so faint in the background where it's not distracting. Hey, um, uh, Coffee Cat says, uh, but to be honest, I love watching live streams. Um, they have they have become my favourite thing. Oh wow, yeah. Well, you know why? I suppose because you're interacting and you're engaging. Uh, there's an art community, you're engaging with the artist, you're getting to know people, uh, you're getting to know me, I'm getting to know you. I think it's there's all of that that's going on, definitely. Um, Anne says, uh, my boss is sitting behind me, but she doesn't care as long as I'm getting my work done. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, Wicked says, Vid, uh, vi uh, vids where dozens of hours are condensed in three minutes are for entertainment only, uh, not learning, mainly for non-artists to be amazed by art magic. Yes, it is. Uh, can build a huge channel with just that. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it too. Um... <laughs> Uh, Callum, uh, Callum is the one from The Voice. Uh, he has a very good voice. Um, there we go. Will, metal, heavy metal. You're into heavy metal. Oh, wow. Uh, I, Chandra says, I wonder what happens when you play uh, Ramstein. Okay, you're going to have to tell me what Ramstein is, Chandra. And then it says, is that the guy, is that guy naked under his robe? Is he about to flash the rounds? You'll never know, Nanette. You'll just never, never know. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so cheeky. You're so cheeky. Um, uh, Coffee Cat says, Chrissy, yes, very much with work and stuff. It's not easy making art friends, so it feels like it. Um, it feels like that at least. Yes, it does. It does. You know, it's all about engaging and connecting. Um, oh my gosh, I would never have thought on a live stream to connect from from people you know just from different parts of the world so and i just think it's a lovely thing i love doing it i love participating i love doing these um i love all of that anything to do with that yes uh, um uh helen says and that was uh, and that will uh seem so soft and gentle on his videos oh yes he's got like you know that voice, haven't you, Will? You've got that voice. Shandri. Uh, Shandri says, no, you don't know. Ramstein? No, who's that? Ramstein? Uh, did it not reach the Australian continent? Oh, my goodness. Shandri, we are so far away, it's a wonder that anything gets to us. I can, I can tell you that much. <laughs> oh, gosh. There we go. Ah. <clears throat> yes, well, you know what, Nanette? He almost looks like he's going to flash any moment, doesn't he? <laughs> Trust you to say that. Um, 
Um, Chandra says, very, <laughs> very grease, uh, very greasy guys uh, in oil uh, from Germany. Uh, co uh, uh, covert in Greece plays heavy metal and a lot of fire. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, Wicked says it was so funny that one time when uh, Will was being shout uh, shouty. Uh, that one time on working stream while he was trying to hear himself over the headphones. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> Chantry says, um, oh, I know they reached the USA for sure. Look them up. Okay, I will. Bill says, I should do a video where I play the wrong music to, the, to contrast my peaceful tone. I can imagine. Okay, hang on a sec. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh See, music is a preference as art, isn't it? And um, movies, you know, there's always a there's, a there's a preference, isn't it? Music is a preference. I, um, I actually like all kinds of music, to be honest, but I don't go heavy metal. I'll go as far as Guns N' Roses, probably. And I love, uh, and uh, that's, a, and their ballads, actually. But I, um, I, I love rock and roll, and but I'm probably not into heavy metal. Um, uh, probably not rap either. Um, I'm more into, um, uh, yeah, rhythm and blues, uh, you name it. I, actually, there's so many types of music that I love. Um, you know, oh gosh, you know, all kinds. Uh, who's some of the groups that I love to listen to sometimes? All depends. It all depends what mood I'm in too. Leonard Skinner. Uh, you know, then I like jazz. I love country. I love rock and roll. I love world music, which I listen to quite a lot. I love easy, easy listen to Celtic music. Um, oh, you name it. There's so much. Uh, the only thing I probably can't do is the classical, which is like the other end of um, heavy metal. Like that's, uh, I can't do th those sides. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, well, you know, Beethoven, that kind of classical, I mean. Yeah, it's those ends, those extreme ends. I can't do the extreme ends. Well, like, you know, I can do just a little bit. But see, preference. It's all about preference. Um, uh, let me see. Okay, you ever wonder? You ever wonder? Um, uh, you ever wonder why we can't choose what we like? There you go. Uh, no offense intended. Um, I just. Oh, okay. I don't know this one. Does Evan sense count? They put them in many genres, uh, gothic rock, metal, rock, what not. I haven't heard of that. Where have I been? Yeah, yeah, I, I've, yeah I've probably heard it, but I hope I haven't been under a rock too long, I'm sure. Um, Uh, Nanette says, mine stopped listening to it in the car when I started singing along loud and proud. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Alright, I'm still going with this. I'm so sorry that I'm still going with this, but... If I don't do this to begin, if I don't do this underneath, I'm not going to get the contrast that I want with the leaves. So I have to build this up very I have to build this up very slowly without damaging the tooth. Um. Uh. 
Uh, video game soundtracks are in my favourites for streaming, are they really? <laughs> Yeah. Janice said, oh, hang on, I'm missing something. Um, uh, uh, don't be sorry, we're learning. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's this? Will says, Evan, what, Evan, Evan sense? Evan S, I can't even say it, uh, was like a gateway drug for my generation, metalheads. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Christine says, don't be sorry, Chrissy. Uh, we are happy to listen and enjoy each other's company. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start. I think I might start to build up. Okay. I'll start to build up here, maybe. I'll have a look. Hang on. Uh, I shouldn't. I'm not going to. Okay. I'm going to have to use pastel pencils here to define certain areas before I go into... Now this is almost... I'm going to... With the pastel pencil too, I'm actually going light layers here. And... I'm going to use this tool to to blot so you'll see that so hang on. Well, I'll just leave that there just so you can see that there I'm going to use this tool and I'll probably use this tool I'm not quite sure it's one of these two so I'm just very light layers just building up Just making this look a little bit more 3D. In areas here. Wonderful. Purchase the pastel project. A lesson on animal portraits. Looking forward to the tutorial. Oh, way to go, Gary. Isn't that fantastic? Um, so then now what I do with this is I just blot this out. And I'm going to go on top with even more pastel pencils and I'll build up layers and I've got other colors here which um, it's another blue which I want to use no it's a yeah it's this one here I just want to make sure yeah Oh, Christine, I've uh, got to run. I started taking a business. Uh, I've, oh, I've got to, I've got to run. I started taking a business class. Got some homework. Way to go, Christine! Thank you so much for popping by. Hope you have a a, a good rest of the week. Um, Now this grey is a Brunzel, uh, made in Holland, and it is a it is a um, it is number seventy four. Uh, sorry, my hands are a bit grubby from the pastel, but 
um, it is more of a blue gray like as in you know the blue whales it's more like that um, so and I don't know if you can see this technique it's here there you go it helps add a bit of texture and I don't think you can see this properly but yeah but I'm just going to keep on doing this and this is like a um, yeah well it's just texture really Oh, I, I pronounced it wrong, did I? Um, sorry. <laughs> Brown Zale, right? I can't help it. My accent always says uh, Brunzeal. Uh, how did I used to say it? Oh, now I have forgotten how I used to say it. Brun Brunzeal, yeah, Brunzeal. It's, it's Brown Zale. Um. And I'm um, it's very light pressure. Just got to say that it's, it's all very light pressure. another pastel pencil so um, yeah here we go So then I just go ahead and I just dab, 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 and then I just keep on building. I probably have to stand back and see. It's usually, sometimes on my camera, I, actually, I can actually see, it helps me look at a distance. find this area here um, I'll just put this aside just for a moment move these so this is this guy's sleeve here and then there's a whole heap of trees here, so I can't do much there. And I can just define this area so I don't lose my map as well. And of 
course hands. How can I have a painting without hands? <laughs> God knows how these ones are going to turn out. But anyway. And this sort of goes like this. It must look a bit weird. Janice, thank you so much. It looks great. Nice to see. Thank you so much. It's going to take a while, but hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. I've never done a piece this size before. I've done big ones, but not this size. Uh, what's the biggest I've done? Uh, I have got one in my living room, which I've framed, which was soft pastels. But it wasn't as big as this one. And I've done a few 70 by 50 centimetres. So, but, um, yeah. That one sort of, I don't know why it does that, but anyway, here we go. Here we go. Uh, this one's got a few bit of texture here. Yeah. There we go. That looks weird. This is so weird. Don't know how you can. This is when I slowly start to build up texture as well and <laughs> oh and for those who don't know this is pastel matte board as well so Something to consider when you're trying out if you wanted to. Uh, Brenda says, uh, been a sad. Oh my gosh, uh, Brenda, that's so sad. 
so sad. Okay, pastel mat board um, is it is different but the same. Now I'm going to explain that. Um, when I say different, I mean uh, the obviously board is thicker, it is harder um, than the pastel mat paper. Um, the board as well as it would be, it is more rigid. But it, in my experience, now, now I know that other people that have tried this uh, feel it's a little bit different for them, but the same, uh, the application is the same on pastel matte paper as it is on pastel matte board. Um, I find I, I get the same la layering um, as I would um, as in pastel matte paper. Um, I think the boards are really good for when you want a more rigid surface or and I reckon it's great for big pieces such as this uh, even 50 by uh, 50 by 70 centimeters I know that that comes in boards too uh, because I've done a few um, I uh, they are a bit different but when you place when you're um, applying your medium uh, it has for me, for me, um, perfect layering, um, perfect layering, the same as pastel matte paper. So I just think um, um, uh, worth the money as well, definite, definite. Oh, g'day Abigail, hello, how are you going? How you going? Nice to see you here. Okay. Um, the for the group painting, uh, the pictures I'll probably um, uh, probably in about um, two weeks' time. Um, uh, sorry, after the fifth, it'll probably be. Um, Probably in about after the fifth, probably a week, a week to ten days after that. Um, uh, I'm, I've got a couple of um, uh, references which I've chosen. Now I've got to decide which one I like the most, or which one I think would be great for all of us to participate in. Uh, but a week to ten days after the fifth. Uh, so all the names are in uh, the description box below. So if you wanted to take your name off. Feel free to do that if you wanted to add your name on. Uh, feel free to do that in the comment section below um, in this video. Um, uh, um, yeah, or yeah, all right now. Yeah, um, yeah, because um, I, I've got to, I've got, I've got to have a cutoff date. Um, and if I miss anyone, I do apologise. I don't mean to do that, but um, we've got. There's a few of us, so it'll be fun. And it's all, it's all just fun, really.
I'll do my best, Brenda. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a bit of a um, uh, a surreal painting, um, unusual things. Um, And this pencil is a charcoal pencil. I want black, black, black. So and now I just want to concentrate on this certain areas. Wow, this is blotchy, isn't it? Abigail says, Chrissy, uh, feel free to use any of my pictures as reference. I have plenty. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. Um, I appreciate that. Um, and you are a shot. I can just say that. <laughs> Chandri says, I love the term blotchy comes up every time. Oh, yes. I say that a lot, don't I? Is that me? I say that a lot, blotchy. I have to go and need to get some bandage for my son. He managed to put his pinky in a, in a machine at school and lost and lost his nail by doing so. Oh my gosh, looks awful. My stomach turns when I need to change the bandage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. So... Carrie says, uh, Chrissy, what is the area you are painting now? Looks like a rock face with a big ear, but I have, but I have had a few wines. Anything is possible. <laughs> the area that I'm working on, um, a rock face. Yes, it is a rock face, to be honest. But on here, I have to make sure that I get certain areas real dark before I start putting, see these trees, how they're like this, that type of thing is all gonna be here, 
right and I just want to get all the darks in first before I go go in and I just um, I've been using pan pastels and it just has I'm just very careful very slowly putting these darks in it doesn't really look like much here at the moment I know it doesn't um, but it's just I just want to make sure that certain areas are dark before I start covering and very light layers at that to be honest which I need to pull out my vacuum cleaner because I want to um, I want to clear this area up oh, just hang on I'm almost Okay, just get my reference. All right, so, and the reason why I did that in this situation is because I've got black pastel and I don't want it to contain, to contaminate certain areas. So I'm gonna blend that black a little bit, but I'm gonna be very careful the way I do it. So, I'm, and I'm using uh, this brush. And I just, this is what's been happening. So as you can see, I'm cleaning this brush as I'm going. So before I, because I'm going to go into some areas which I really need to be careful. So here, for example. So it's just a light blend. And then I'll go on top with highlights as well. Um, oh, have I missed something? Um, Chris, uh, Coffee Cat says, Chrissy, I really like the texture you are making with the statue. Oh, thank you so much. It's not easy, actually, I've got to say. It's, it's um, a lot of that was easier than this. And I thought this was going to be easy to begin with. But no, this is actually harder than all of this stuff here. So thank you for that. Um, it's given me encouragement anyway. Um, uh, let me see. Oh, Brenda says, Chrissy, my favourite is the trees. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm actually... Um, Robin! Hello, Robin! Hello! Snap! That looks amazing. I haven't been on recently. Hi, Chrissy, Wendy and everyone. Hello, hello, Robin. And we haven't seen you in a while too, so welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome. So, just... So the texture is what I'm trying to get at very slowly. And I just keep on rubbing this on the paper towel. It's black. And I have to be careful not to make things muddy, but I will go over it, so that's okay. Making sure that my darks are in the right places before I go in and start doing more. Will says, Chrissy, you should take a big chunk out of him like a piece fell off since since it's old. Yes, I could do that. Um, I hope that I can pull off what he's supposed to look like. He's supposed to look like he's been there forever and covered in moss. That is what, well, sort of, you know, well, sort of. Okay. All right. Mind you, I'm um, I'm going to be doing some other uh, projects. I'm going to be redoing one other face card, and that's the King of the King of the the uh, the Water King of Hearts. Now, there's a reason why I'm going to re. I'm not going to be. He's the last king. Sorry, he's the last face card that I'm going to redo. I've redone 
two and there's and this is going to be the third one I mean I could be sitting there and this project will never finish if I keep on redoing but what's happened the, the water king of hearts was the first one that I did that had a uh, first male he's not the first male that I've done but um, I haven't done a lot of males before this fellow so my um, my skill level wasn't where I wanted it to be and it was okay it was um, it was okay but I think that I can improve on that so I'm actually going to be doing him actually I shouldn't be saying it like that should I I'm going to be painting him um, so I'm going to be doing that hopefully I'll, um, I've got I've got it redrawn I'm actually going to add an animal this one he doesn't have an animal the first one doesn't have an animal and I think that he's missing that element so that's going to be in that painting and I'll be doing the backs of the cards and this will be uh, be continuing on my working streams but um, on the Wednesdays I really need to do all of these other things um, which I need to be continuing with so and it's all part of it so that's okay but because um, I don't want to bore you a lot with just the same old painting off for heaven's sake you know it hasn't she finished it yet you know what I mean so um, yes Patrick hello Patrick welcome welcome nice to see you hi there from the Netherlands welcome 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 um, uh, and says Chrissy what animal will you add with him I'm gonna add the dolphin because of well yeah, of course the dolphin represents water but I've also um, have got I've painted the dolphin in one of my joker cards as I have with the deer the deer um, is in my joker card he's also with the king of clubs who is earth and let me see the eagle who is with the, the king as well again on my um, air king of diamonds he's also there so I, I, I needed to somehow uh, tie all of those sorts of things in so that's why I'm redoing this fellow so there you go <laughs> Steve I'm not I'm not describing you absolutely not um, let me see who's left Shandri okay Shandri nice of you to pop by and nice of you to keep us all company hope to see you soon again um, Patrick says question do you own all the colors of the pan pastels I own most except for the iridescent ones um, I don't have the the coarse ones but I have a few of them but I've been building sets so over time I've had these for years um, and some of them I've replaced uh, and some of them I haven't I've been using them for a while so um, and I've been mixing I mix a lot so I've discovered that I can do that but yes, um, let me see. All right, so so this brush, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I just wanted to see how this is looking so far still got a long way to go but that's okay we're all good we're all good okay I'm thinking that I'm going to be wrapping it up actually um, <clears throat> I just wanted to say thank you all uh, so much uh, for keeping me company um, and again thank you to Wendy um, and everyone who and thank you to Wendy for moderating and everyone in the chat um, I always appreciate um, I appreciate everything from the bottom of my heart appreciate your company and your time and uh, uh, love having you around and I'm so I'm so honored to have you all as friends um, as uh, friends from around the world so what I wanted to do is probably just leave it here and I'll probably do my working stream on Sunday as I do uh, you know less chat more art 
but I don't know <laughs> how that happens with me but I'm always trying um but um yeah like, now nah, look I just wanted to say all oh, look thank you so much uh for popping by thank you everyone um uh okay uh bye for now <laughs>